All right, y'all. Show you where all the magic happens, y'all. You no, know, this is my tanks. It has all the semen in it. And what's in this tank in here is liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen that keeps the semen frozen. Okay, this is very. This is a very important process here. Let's see if I can straighten this out here, so I can show you guys here. So I won't, you know, knock down that camera. You know, every every color is for different different forms here. You know, you know, I got the white white one here. You know, for one farm, you got brown here and one here. From it's for this farm here. Then you got a yellow one for a different farm. Then you got a red one. And it's for a different farm. So very important. When you bring it up, y'all, you don't want to pass this here. You know, if you pass, if you bring it all the way up over here, the temperature from outside will kill the semen slowly. So you want to keep it inside this hole right here. You know, let's see if you get a little little view here in the in the hole. I can show you what I mean in there. See here, y'all. Can y'all see that, y'all? That's where all the semen goes, right there, y'all. Right in there. Right in there. So, I'll give you guys the name of the bull, too, you know, so you all understand. You know, I use the best genetics in here. See how I got it in there. You know, the bull that I'm going to use here for these two version heifers. His name's gonna be big time. I mean, he is a very, 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 very good bull. His components is beyond this world. He's a good bull. I recommend this bull. Well, you can get that bull, you know, you guys wanna give me a call, you know. Uh, I don't wanna put my number on there, but you know, just send me a message on, you know, on the comments and I'll get a hold of you and give you my number and I can, uh, sell you some of this genetics It's the number one genetics out there you know this is called sex semen it's about 96 percent it's gonna be a, a heifer calf you know you pay a lot more money but you're guaranteed almost for a heifer calf then you got your call conventional that means it's gonna be 50 50 chance it's gonna be a heifer or it's gonna be a bull calf so you know this gentleman here, he, he likes to use sexy because he wants them to be, you know, heifers, you know. You know, see that? See how I do that? You know, I grab two units because I got two heifers. I'll put that back. Always make sure you put the cap back in because if you don't, see all that smoke? It's all the vapor, you know, from the liquid nitrogen. It'll empty out your tank and you need that in there to keep that semen frozen and keep it alive see here's the the two units here see the two units of the sex semen all right y'all now i'll bring it over here show you the process you know i got everything in my truck until i i could afford to put a camper shell it's very important to have a camper shell that's why i park underneath the barn so the sun very important not the sun to hit it too because it kills semen so I park underneath until I can afford to put a camper shell in my truck. So, you know, this is my little setup. You know, don't don't mind the mess, y'all, you know. But I got I to clean it a little bit. But I'm very clean. You got to be very important to clean. Your area got to be clean. So my area is a little bit, not dirty, but got trash, you know, a little trash everywhere. But I, I got to clean it up. I didn't clean it up yesterday. I cleaned it up every day, you know, before I get, get done today. I clean all my stuff here. So this is called... A fall bath right here, you know. She got a green light. Let me turn that music because I don't want to get uh, a clean or whatever you want to call it. You see the, the green light, y'all. When that green light is there, that means the water is ready to go. And I'll show you. So you put the, put the units in there, the two units. Very important. You got to leave it in there for 45 seconds. After 45 seconds, you know, then you cut the tips. You put it in your breeding guns. I'll show you all that too. Then you put in the sheets. So I got this right here to, for the temperature. You all see that? You want it to be between those green marks, you know, 94 and 98. And that's very, very, very important. You don't want it to be below that. Because then, you know, semen, it, 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 it's going to die. You know, you don't want it to be over 100 because you'll kill it instantly. You know? So these are my gun, my guns here. These are my sheets. 
These are my sheets here. We've got two little girls here. Well, these, these are called sheets, you know? See those green, green inserts right there? It locks the, the semen in there. And the semen goes right through that little hole right there into the, into the cow to get them pregnant. So, so what I do, you know, you know, I don't want to show you guys too much, you know, but I, I put it where it's the most warmest part of my body, you know, it could be your armpit, but I put it right in there, y'all. Really warm underneath my shirt, into my underwear, keep it warm. You know, you gotta keep it nice and warm like body temp, okay? That's why I always have coveralls. You know, you know, keep my clothes clean underneath. You know, just the coveralls get dirty. Let me see if I can do this, y'all. All right, well, I did it. So I keep it like that, see, I zip it up. So it won't move anywhere, see? It stays right there perfect. You all want, you all want to be clean, you know? That's why I wear these gloves. These are called milk gloves. Keeps everything clean, keeps my hand clean. So when I'm touching semen, you know, and I'm putting inside, oh, got a little piece of chalk right there, y'all. But it's all right. But uh, you want to keep everything clean, y'all. Because you keep everything clean, the more pregnant cows you're going to get, y'all. So, all right, okay, it's been about 45 seconds, y'all. So, so I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this here. Let me put this camera down. Just put this camera down. Okay, can you all see that? All right, y'all. So you got a paper towel. This paper towel, if it's too cold, y'all, but it's not cold right now. It's really beautiful out here. You know, probably, I wanna say about 60, 67, 68 degrees out here right now. But this paper towel, I use this paper towel, right? Is to dry off the straws. It's very important to dry off all that, that water off them straws there. There you go, I'll pull it out here, you know, just like that. Make sure, like I said, do not let the sunlight hit it because if you let that sunlight hit it it kills it instantly so you make sure you dry it off really good nice and slow not you know you want to you got to be gentle you know semen it's, it's alive right now because it's thawed out all the semen in here is alive you know and it, here i use 100 percent sex semen and it's unheard of the numbers that i get y'all you know like i said you know this farm here i'm getting about on sex 100 percent sex semen I'm getting 1.8 services per conception here on sex semen. If you all farmers out there and you know what that means, it is hard to get y'all, especially sex semen. So you want see, grab the scissors, make sure your scissors are clean. Don't want no, no manure, no old semen on there. Make sure you clean them, okay? You cut them about to right there. You all see that? Right there, nice and slow. Just like that, y'all. And what I do is I clean that. If there's any semen on there, and there shouldn't be any. If you're professional. Shouldn't be no semen on that on that scissors. Y'all see, it's all dry. There's no, no, nothing wet, y'all. Nothing wet. Well, then what I do, everybody does it differently. Every breeder does it differently. Like I said, I'm just showing the way I do it. Put it right in there, nice and slow. And let it draw, you know, nice and slow in there. Like I said, this bull's name is Big Time. Okay, that's in there. Let me grab my breeding guns, y'all. These are breeding guns, y'all. These are breeding guns. So what you do, you lift them up like that, just like that. Then, because I make it look easy. It's, it's harder than it is. You see that one is down more than the other. It makes it easier to put it inside the sheets here. So when I do it, so if I have like seven of them, it is, I just make it so easy. It just goes whoop, whoop, right in there. Then you push it down one by one, and you're going to feel it click. Push it down and, and do a little twist on it. And you'll feel it click, and you, sometimes you can hear it pretty loud, y'all. So you go like that, there we go again, there, click, push it down, it's nice and slow until it stops, you, you, you feel it, you, you, you just put a little teeny pressure, you feel it, it just stops, you can't push no more, see, that one, it stops, can't push, don't push no more because then you get semen in your underwear and every, every little drop counts, I'm, I'm telling you, every little drop counts, okay, after that, what I do is, 
I lift this. See y'all, see this on y'all? I lift, lift my, I got a sweater on, sorry y'all. But I lift it up. So make sure, cause this here, you don't want this. It, 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 it seems like it's not, not much, y'all. But this here, y'all, it, it, it'll make it hard to go inside of a cow. So you want it just to be your skin here. But it's a little, little chill, but right now I could've took off my sweater cause I'm getting a little hot, a little sweaty, but I didn't take it off yet, but my bad. But I'll show you guys. So when I get to here, so my hand should only go about to here into the cow and that's it. That's it. That's it. And I can grab that cow service. You know, when I put, put my hand in her, you know, put my hand in, I go like this. You never go like that into a cow. You always want to go like that and you always make sure you put lube on your glove before you put it in the cow because you'll, you'll hurt her. You know, that's why I'm so good because I don't want to hurt them cows. Okay. When I go in them, you know, I put my, my, my fingers like that and, you know, put some lube. Or you can use the manure, you know. Put, if you don't want to use lube, you can grab some manure on the ground. And you put your fingers like that, and you, and you put your hand in there. Nice and slow. Don't, don't, do not. I, please. I, I love these animals, y'all. Please do never, if you see somebody shoving their hand in the cow, you tell them to stop. Because that you're, you're hurting that animal. You want to go nice and slow in her. Like I said, your arm should only go into that much. Sometimes, you know, Cows are deeper because every animal is different in size. Not everyone, it's like human beings, not everybody's the same, thank God. And nobody thinks the same way, thank God. The cat, animals the same way inside the track system, everything's different, you know. They got horns, it's just like a woman's track, you know, they got the cervix, they got the two horns, then they got the ovaries. So, so cervix is like that, you know. It's not gonna be as thick as my arm, but it's probably gonna be like that big. Then you got, you got the two horns like that. Sometimes they go like that. Sometimes they twist, and then sometimes they'll, they'll go in circles, but then you'll have an ovary right here, two ovaries, you know? What you wanna do is you're gonna feel a piece of meat hard. Once you feel that, that soft spot, that's where you wanna deposit that semen. You pull it back all the way to the end where that heart is. Make sure you feel that tip of that gun, and that's where you deposit the semen. So when the semen comes, it goes into the two horns like that, right? like that, right? and they'll go into the ovaries. So whatever ovaries are relating, that semen is gonna go into that one. But I am that, I am so good, I can tell you exactly what ovary she is ovulating. But I never do it that way because that's, that, as a professional, we call that a two-passer. You never wanna be a two-passer. You'll get nothing pregnant. You'll probably get one out of 20 cows pregnant. And that's terrible, that is terrible. Like I said, on conventional semen, I'm getting a 1.2, 1.5 service per conception. Sex semen, I'm getting a 1.8 to a 2.1 service per service per conception rate in all my herds. And that's amazing. That's why they respect me and they love me. They never had a breeder like myself here. You know, never. They've never seen so many pregnant cows in their lives. And I and I and I'm very happy with that. And I'm very appreciative because they all they thank me. A lot of these farmers thank me every day and it means a lot to me. It means, just a thank you means more to me than money. It really does, y'all. That's why, you know, I help these farmers. And, uh, and you know, I don't, I don't overprice them. I, I give them a decent price, you know, affordable price, you know. But we all gotta make money, y'all, you know. But I'm cheaper than most people, most, I'm cheap. I wanna tell you all something. I'm cheaper than, than all the breeders out here. I'm the cheapest and I'm the best. I believe in my heart, I'm the best. You know, you never want to say you want to be the number one. I'm not the number one breeder, but you know, I want to say I'm the top five breeder in the world. That's how, that's how confident I am in myself. And you can ask anybody. You can ask any of my farmers. You can ask anybody around here where I live. They know me, not by my name. They call me the breeder. You say, you know, you know who the breeder is? And they'll say, oh yeah, I know that man. Man, he's a good man. I, I, I hear very good things about that man. He's good. Yeah. But, like I said, it didn't take me, you know, one year for another. Another man I want to give a shout out to also is old Mr. Harry Anderson. That man, he taught me how to read them ovaries. And I became very, very good. And that man, Harry, Mr. Harry Anderson, he's, he's seen that. He's seen that I was good. You know, he took good care of me, that man. You know, ran, ran some problems, you know, family problems. When, when you have family working together, it's kind of a pain in the ass. 
Yeah, kind of pain in the ass. You, know, you all know what I mean. Never, never work with family members. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Family. Whew, man, it's crazy. Yeah. Stop talking about family, you know. All right, y'all. All right, let's go. Breathe these ladies. You guys can watch me. Breathe these ladies, y'all. No. Oh, man, I forgot to get some lube. See that, y'all? When you forget to do things, I forgot to get the lube. So my lube is going to be some manure. My lube is going to be some manure, y'all. See if I can get this straight there. I won't fall on me. Right there. Sí, nada más los dos calientes. Todos los días tengo a, a checar las papillas para mirar las calientes. Todos los días. No se puede pasar un día, porque se pasa un día, se pasa las calientes y, y lleva 21 días para venir calientes otra vez. Esta es pura basarita. Por el 96% es basarita. Esta. Sí, el surbe, ahí tiene la surbe, está a por diente. También tiene el surbe. Pero es igual como una mujer, todo. Todo adentro es igualito como un mujer. Y lleva como un mujer nueve meses para parir. Igualito, igualito como una mujer. Ya está. Ya está. 99% está pan, la está pancona. ¿La pancona? 99% que va a estar pancona. Más de, de la experiencia que tengo yo, ¿sabes? Porque ahí adentro, cuando me tocan la mano, yo ya sé, va a estar bien buena o oh, un ¿sabes? Yo, yo ya sé de, que va a estar bien buena y está bien caliente, ¿no? Y yo voy a examinarla y yo ya sé como esto también está perfecto por viento. Y el 99% va a estar campona, ¿sabes? Después examinarla, en 30 días cuando me voy a checarla, va a estar campona. ¿La tía con otra vez? ¿La tía con usted? Así, sí. En 30 días, un mes. En 30 días no puedo decir que ya con panzona o no. En 30 días. Vale, esa es la, la, la experiencia que tengo yo. Ay, joder, se cayó el celular. It fell in the manure. Mandé. Sí, nada más dos, eh. Tenía otra, más se pasó la caliente. Ya tenía sangre. Cuando tiene sangre ya, ya, ya se pasó. Sí, en, en 21 días va a venir caliente otra vez. En 21 días. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. I don't know if you guys, y'all got that. I got swung. Swung by the, by a heifer there. But, you know, I'm really, really good with them. I don't mean them. I, I, sometimes, you know, you need that to wake up. You know, when you, when you hear that noise, they get a little crazy, you know. I don't know if you all heard that little, that tractor coming, you know. I, uh, they get scared, so they're going to kick. It's, it's, it's normal. They're going to kick because they, they don't like that noise. And usually I'm really quiet with them. I, you know, I, when I talk to them, you know, I, I go, hey, baby, come on, mamas, come on, mamas. I talk to them. You know, here's the future. This is the future. These are all my babies. These are all my daughters. These are the future. Beautiful animals. I mean, good hell, y'all. Man, makes me happy just looking at them. Like I said before, these animals treat me better than human beings. And that's the sad part, but it's the honest truth. The honest truth. They treat me better than human beings. You know, I'm very blessed, like I told y'all before. And I let them all go, you know, make sure. Also, when you're breathing, so I couldn't explain everything, you know. It, I, it affected my, my phone fell in the cow manure, so I got a little covered in cow manure there, y'all. I gotta wash it up a little bit. Got, got some cow manure all over the place there. I don't know if you guys seen that phone go whoop. It did. 
man, look at them beautiful heifers. Man, look at that. These, you know, these heifers here, you know, you're talking about, I want to say they're about, you know, probably a couple months old, you know, three months old. Those heifers, those small heifers there, you know, you can tell the difference. I'll show you. You can tell the difference on the size of them. Look at that mama, you know, pretty big size, you know, see, see this here, it passes it. It passes the here. This is called the main, the, the mangers, the lock extensions, you know, they've got different names, you know, it passes that. And she's taller than that, you know, look at these babies. See, these babies are small, you know, see that, see the difference? They're tiny, because they're only like three months old, y'all. You know, now I'm finished here. You know, got to make sure, double check everything. I let everything go. You know, you never want to leave cows locked up. You know, you want them to get loose, go drink some water. You know, drink some water and they come back and eat some more. You know, see them, they're my baby right there, old 55, 14. See, majority of them all, these are called Holsteins. Like I said, these cows here, it's good to drink, the, the, it's made for to drink the milk. They drink the milk and also for your cereal and also they make very very delicious cheese y'all you know i won't i won't say that this this man here he he makes the best cheese in my opinion this is my opinion because i love cheese i love eating my cheese he makes the best cheese in the world no joke y'all very very good good cheese y'all and I'll, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll tell you guys the name, the name. I can't remember off the top of my head the name. I just know where it's at. I'm bad with names, y'all. I'm so sorry, but I'm bad with names. I just want to give you a heads up. I'm really, really bad with names. But uh, very, very, I recommend you guys go over there to his cheese plant and just try his cheese. He gets free samples. Just tell him, you know, can I try the cheese? Man, makes amazing cheese. For me, the number one cheese in the world for me. That's not, like I said, my opinion. My opinion. You know, I'll give you guys the name what it's called. Let, let me let me make sure. I don't want to give you guys the wrong name. You know, I don't want to give you guys some false information. I'll give you guys uh, the name, the name of it. And then you all go try it yourselves. And then you guys tell me what you guys think about it. It's cheese. Man, excellent cheese, man. My, my mouth is watering right now just thinking about it. It's watering, y'all. Because I love that cheese. I got so many cheese from there in my house that, you know, I eat with, you know, my uh, my bread. I put some butter on there and I put that cheese in there. Dang, that tastes good. Sometimes I put some ham in there too, make a little taste better. You know, you put that butter in there. You put butter. I put butter. People, some people put mayonnaise, but man, I like my butter. I love butter. So when I make my sandwiches, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll switch it up. I, most of the time I use my butter in my sandwiches because I love butter. All right, bro. I better keep on going. Go to the next spot and make another little video. And thank you all for taking your time, hearing me BSing, telling you what I do all day long. All right, y'all. God bless you and God bless America. Ta -ta.